Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Rogue Trader playthrough, where if you remember last time, we were just investigating a wreckage. Now, I've done it off street green because it would have been about 20 minutes of reading, uh, so I wanted to save my voice, guys. But basically, we we had a look around, we had a play, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, we actually have a couple of things we need to do this session, though. We need to head all the way back to Foulstone um, and Janus, because we've got a couple of missions there. So, uh, let us start warping about. Now, we do have some spare warp points to spend, and I'm not going to do too much of that. Um... Uh, let's steer the vessel past. There we go. Oh, whoops. Ah, oh, it looks like I actually have to visit it, don't I? Unfinished event. Feud in the Navy. Okay. Uh, where is my ship? I lost my ship. Uh, my ship is apparently invisible. Okay, a feud has broken out between two influential admirals of the Imperial Navy, having already led to armed skirmishes and outright battles, calling to attention a favour he once did for House von Valencius. One of the admirals appealed to the rogue traders' colony support. Uh, support with all the resources of Colony House. There we go. He, we, we owe him a favour. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, provide him with materials for, to repair his ship. The Admiral appreciates the assistance, which has exceeded his every expectation. From now on, his ships will watch over... Oh, nice! Uh, the planetary authorities begin to purge dissidents, mutants, and apostates. A spree of arrests and executions has the people terrified. Inspire the people. Upon seeing the planetary authorities are not tyrants, wise protectors, the commoners will be delivered from their fear. Okay. Anything else I can do yet? No. So back to Foulstone, I guess. Which is only one jump away. Hopefully we won't have an invisible ship this time. Why is my ship invisible, guys? Stealth. I've engaged stealth mode. Um, the planetary authorities have found a new settlement that would expand their influence on the planet. It support with resources. Uh, the scale of the complex will exceed the architect's original designs. <laughs> the exact same quest, but in a different place. I wonder if they're the same two admirals. Okay, so I don't think I actually needed to rush back as quickly as I thought there. Uh, I'm going to reduce this down to make it a safe route, guys, because... It's a route we will be using regularly. Long run, I will probably uh, create some... Ooh, 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 Drusus's Blessing. Let's go there. Ah, catalog. Hmm. So I could buy some better guns. Ooh, things start getting expensive there. 
and I don't actually have a high enough reputation. Let's see what else I can sell to them. There we go. Oh, not enough to up my rep. Ooh. Sorry, I'm just using this as an excuse to sort some of my junk. While we're here. Okay, nothing else I can actually get from them at the moment. Let's uh, pop into Footfall itself. With my stealth ship. Go straight to the palace, because I've got a couple of things to do here, actually. Ooh. I actually have a few missions to do here, but some I've not done, some I have done. And while we're here, we may as well do a couple of missions. If it ever loads. Please note, guys, if I do sound a bit out of it at all, it is because it is absolutely sweltering here, and I am quite literally melting. Uh, <laughs> I'm, ha I'm, I'm still up recording at like half eleven because I've got to walk my dog. Uh, in the it, after like midnight because it's so warm at the moment. Okay, um, oh yeah, we've done that. Good day, Leash, I am Company Road Trader. Sorry, I should have paid attention. I was expecting him to talk about things because we've done the cargo. Uh, I neutralized the anvers. That is truly outstanding accomplishment. Uh, yes, yeah, something with Chorda. Ah, uh, the anvers again, I presume. Yeah, uh, if you're suggesting those outlaws are acting on my orders, I deny it. Uh, I'm interested in your wares. Hmm. Who can equip it? Yeah, no. Mm. Quarantine. Oh, that. Who knows? It could be a natural epidemic, or perhaps two families. Or perhaps the two families that started it all came down with food poisoning at the same time. So we're on a space station. Best solution is to isolate the area, which has essentially, uh, the reports have been, uh, there haven't been a living soul of quarantine for days now. My people are processing, dismantling the barricades, removing the mines, and are purging the place thoroughly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes, he did. It was a senseless decision. Mm, I'll walk around the quarantine zone for you. The lockdown has been lifted and the entrances are cleared. Okay. Mm. I have no more questions. Other matters demand my attention. Tread carefully.
Okay, let's go to the Shadow Quarter. So I've also got the, um... There are other people here I can talk to. <clears throat> I can trade with, um, the tech priests, the Adeptus Mechanicus will trade with me. What I kind of like is some of the trade is literally just from randomly bumping into people. Okay, I'm pressing a key. Oh, I'm teleporting around again. Ah, right, here we go. Let's talk to the sergeant. Uh, so, Grunge is safe now? Well, that depends. A nice little okay. Have a wander around. Oh, that 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 doesn't look great. I walk through the piles of poison. You're bloody Egypt. Ancient sewer systems pipes pipes lead somewhere deep inside. Have I basically just got permission to loot the crap out of this place? This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Uh, judging by traces of destruction, corpses, three people trying to break through the door. We need no rules or leaders! Anva. Okay, so the Anvers were in here. Success was inevitable. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna do a bit of exploring the first. Because I'll be going to the mutant's lair. Wow, Yamvars were definitely uh, having fun. Let's go to the mutant's lair. That doesn't sound ominous at all. No, we'll be fine. <laughs> Save just in case. Time to lose. Do you really oh, think you here we go. Child There we go. <clears throat> so my more heavy people around the edges. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Okay, okay, okay. I'll 
I'm not that worried. I think we're going to absolutely uh, clear here because I suspect I don't know if things level with us, if you see what I mean. I've suffered worse. Indeed. <laughs> but yeah. Back and call. I think it's safe to say. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I mean, I can literally kill any of them. Naturally. That'll I do. Good. Basically, I was waiting for them to come up to me to do any AOEs. Just a minor setback. But of course. What an unfortunate Nice. Turn of ooh, 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 let's have some fun. On it. No can do. I'm not so sure. Yeah, that'll do. None will stand against me. Stop trying, monkey. Swift and silent. I am not your son. Hear you moving no more. <laughs> I've suffered worse. Yeah, these guys are all substantially lower level than me, I believe. Rejoice in battle. There's quite a bit of poison going on. This Iran can escape the Emperor's judgment. Faith without deeds is worthless. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. Oh, around the back of them. Just to be extra mean. It will be done. Okay, explore quarantine zone. We felt that bit. Go down easy. No, 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 no. Tech use it open, please. Hey, we used a multi key, we got a multi key. If I don't use them, there's no point in me taking them. I really should use them, but 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 I'm an idiot. Uh, excuse. Yeah, basically just talking about their fall into degradation. have traveled far darker paths. Oh, no, 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 I missed something then. Uh, general one of locals, barely legible.
Return to Void Ship? Okay. Not quite what I was expecting, but yeah. So we now nicely explored Footfall. We'll see how other things go. Yeah, let's get our butts out of here. Now we can get here relatively easily. Come on, Henrix. God, he's slow. Let's go talk to the palace and explain what happened, and then we will make our exit. So we'll go speak to the tech priests first. I want to find him. He will always be in my party. Technically, if he's done right, I mean, he won't be done right. Technically, he should be as powerful as my entire party, so... Okay, Vladim. I've dealt with your your stuff. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. Let's have a check. Did it actually give us a mission? No. Oh, but I do have something on the bridge of my ship for some point. I don't know where I clicked. It needs to be a bit... It's a bit too easy to do that. I've done that a few times. For docks, where hopefully no one attacked me, I've just realised I've been muted and I don't know how long for. Well, this could be fun. <laughs> Please don't be muted for too long. Gonna be honest, if I have been muted for the last 20 minutes, you just won't ever see this episode, because most of the stuff in this, I don't think, is probably stuff I can skip. Mm. I want to make a trade deal. That's a bit crap. Oh, it's just a Laz gun, not a Laz. I would like that, but there's no way I can afford that. Uh, let's sell these guys a load of junk because I suspect these guys are going to be really good guys to have on side long run. Sell everything. They really do want everything, don't they? I kind of wish you could just, you know... Yeah, I'm now max rep with them. 
Not that I can afford half this stuff yet, but that's fine. That's actually really good for my long for long run. Okay, I'm really paranoid. I've, I like didn't have my mic on for half of the last episode now. Oh god, I'm being extra paranoid now. Oh, please tell me I've not just wasted like two hours worth of recording. Please, please. So let's have a look at this one. Uh, the bridge cogitate was worth. Uh, so where be it? So it's gonna be in my quarters. Let's go have a look. Oh, a chest. Ah, I can move stuff around from that. Let's go talk to Pascal, actually. He may know. But that would have probably made more sense to do first. I guess I'll find out as time goes on. The space. The final front. <laughs> Definitely the wrong IP. Now you see I could plot a route right there. However, I'm not going that way yet. I do not want to go to my home world just yet. I do want to head this way though. If they've not moved it. I am going to reduce it. I don't like doing them because you, you can get events which are just a pain in the ass to do. I'm going to be honest. There it is. I'm going to be a little naughty here. I'm going to go to my to Janus and then I'm going to plot a route right there right to it from Janus and then I'm going to make it safe because I want safe routes between all of my systems anyway there we go let's chart new routes first <clears throat> Okay, it doesn't actually show anything until I visit it properly. Right. 
Let's, uh... Here we go. Uh, Lord Captain, according to telemetry, we are in the system Kiva Gamma, the main industrial world of the Von Valencius dynasty. However, our Astropass report attempts to co cover contact Governor Garbrak have been unsuccessful. But wait. Lord Captain, a new report. Kiva Gamma said it's a request to exchange data. Uh... Should we accept? Uh, ignore the transmission. As you command, Lord Captain. Uh, I, I kind of know what happened. You get hacked, basically. Lord Captain, we ignore the transmission as you ordered. But the Vox system detected a dozen more incoming requests. The number is growing every second. Each one is becoming more insistent and stronger. I think... I think I hear something. Lord Captain, interference detected at the compartment's Vox system. Looks like the bridge is cut off from the rest of the void ship. Yay! The void ship bridge sounds. Um, sounds are working toward cogitators and officers' footsteps. Uh, the everyday scene is interrupting by an ear splitting bleeping sound, followed by lumens going out. In the dim glow of candles and emergency lights, the officers in frame. Uh, the, one of the officers in frame cries out. Another falls to his knees, clutching his head. Over the beeping of voxes, shouts can just be heard. What's going on? The doors are locked. We've lost contract with the other modules. One of the bridge officers turned to the throne. Lord Captain, the Vox stations are malfunctioning and overloading the systems. None of our outgoing transmissions are getting through. The incoming ones do not, uh, that do make it to us are distorted beyond interpretation. Uh, yeah. Continue sending orders. The Vox officer salutes and hurries over to the bridge's Vox system. To the Vox master, who is leaning over her station. Moments later, a cry of surprise. Lord Captain, our transmissions are being distorted as we speak. Uh, Depressurise the lower models. Execute Adeptus Mechanics Code. Disable life portals. If even one command gets out, Jed gives the order to. Stop them at any cost. Voxmaster nods curtly and connects the tangles of cables coming out at the back of her head into the dock station. Spirit of the ship, I beseech thee, shield us from the peril but, and, and allow not these heretical systems to pass. Vigdis enters one command after another. Uh, the station groans and shrieks and sparks under her fingers. The shock of... and the... And a shock passes through the wires. Blood drips onto the control panel. But Vigdis lets out a genuine cry. But does not relent. A few moments later, she crumples. The signals have been locked. She then falls unconscious. Scrap code! The voice belongs to the on-deck engineer who has turned to the Lord Captain from his station. We have been attacked with scrap code. Tech heresy designed to corrupt the machines. The transmission received from the planet was infected with this taint and is now running through the ship's veins. Omnisire preserve us. The void board, o the void board officer appears before the Lord Captain once more. Whatever it is that's attacking us, we have a backup procedure that can uh, convent the Vox Barrier. In the atrium leading to the bridge, there is a terminal for an isolated system that might still be unaffected. Allow pop. The pipes hiss and the officer's head, heads burst. A blast of hot air flings the void born away uh, from the Lord Captain, his body slamming straight down into the cogitator panel. The pick frame spins uncontrollably. The servo skull uh, was jolted by a gust. The pick roof recorder vogs over. The vox picking up a crackling of electricity and a death cry. Gas on the bridge! Mm. Uh, evacuate the bridge. The rogue Tracy personally oversees the evacuation. Bring the plasma cutters. Get the wounded to the exit. The officers repeat her orders. Then the servo skull following the rogue trader reaches the door. They fall to the plasma cutters and crumble. The rogue trader is the last to leave the bridge. Leaning on the support beam, the rogue trader takes several deep breaths, trying to flush her lungs with air. Then she straightens, smooths her uniform, and heads towards a goal. A goal, no, no, sir. At the atrium is a 
The atrium is a state of panic. Silhouettes skitter around the dark hall, illuminated only by flickering of emergency lumens. Curt orders and someone's feverish words of prayer can be heard having lost all communication. The beheaded ship is writhing in agony. It takes a while for the Lord Captain to find the cogitator mentioned by the fallen officer. The panel is is the panel of the isolated terminal is riddled with cracks and bloodstains. The floor by the terminal, a tech priest is lying in a heap with his head smashed. Mm. Take your chances, restore the terminal. <clears throat> the rogue trader rips the power key off the tech priest's mechadendrites and opens the cover of the terminal. Sparks fly into her face, but she is confident in her manipulation of the tangled wires and clanging levers. After replacing the cover and ensuring that the system is restored, the Lord Captain brings up the required data on the screens. Currently, the most frightening situation on the ship is the arsenal. Some of the distorted commands, despite the bridge's best efforts, still made it to the module on the lower, and the lower ranking Teclamats complied by raising the temporary and suicide the ordnance depot the heat is about to reach critical levels. Oh dear. The Lord Captain knows where my help is needed. She decides to head to the arsenal herself. When the Lord uh, Captain is officers, she gathered along with her on the way, reach the arsenal. The servo skulls, ocular lenses instantly fog over. On the Vox recording, the rogue trader issues commands calmly and succinctly. Execute those responsible for carrying out the uh, assign order that came from the bridge. Get the module sorted. The three technician teams immediately head to the overheated reactors and the private and the privates to the warhead transporters. An hour later, the situation is back under control. The walk to the bridge is uneventful. Uneventful. The crisis has passed. Although the wounded and although wounded and crippled, the ship nevertheless is returning to normal operation. Life on the bridge is bustling as ever, even though people are surrounded by destruction. The officers uh, have the situation under control, and the people have been organised. The emergency crew have already finished repairing the pipes. The technomaths are setting up cogitators and consoles, and the healers are bagging up the few corpses they are um, and are examining the wounded. By the comm station. Rogue trader runs into the Vox Master. Praise the Emperor, you're in one piece, Lord Captain. The situation on board is satisfactory. I was just in the middle of setting up comm channels. Soon the Vox clusters will be fully operational. Okay. Lord Captain, the situation has been brought under control. More or less, it will take us some time to eliminate the consequences of the attack completely. Fortunately, the bridge suffered only minor losses. Kiva Gamma went silent after transmitting the harmful signal. I will remain uh, refrain from sending inquiries to the industrial world to avoid a second attack. I am afraid we have exhausted our options for remote analysis. Uh, but time has come to remind you of our agreement, Jet. I must present your. I must be present at your entourage. I'm counting on your cooperation. The crew is awaiting further instructions. Okay, so that is where we're going to leave it for today. And next time we will be doing Kiva Gamma. I guess I'd better repair as well. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you are watching. And an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. That's Monsters Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475 Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers all.